introduce yourself, guys. I'm Steve Balsamo, one of the songwriters and uh, singer and play guitar. And uh, Rob Thompson, uh, the same. <laughs> Excellent. So there's quite a few of you in the band. How does having so many members kind of work out? Because I know that quite a lot of you write the songs and sing the songs and play various different instruments. It was quite easy, really. Four of us got together to write songs um, a couple of years ago, starting in Rob's house around his kitchen table, drinking copious amounts of tea and wine in that order, and uh, wrote a load of songs very quickly. And then, um, kind of, because four of us are, are singers as well, we kind of just took it in turns quite naturally to, to take the lead vocals. So it's, uh, and then we got the other two boys in to play drums, keyboards and various things and it's quite a simple process really. Brilliant. Um, I was reading you've got an album out now and um, sort of compiled from the best of about 30 songs you'd, you'd um, got written. How did you choose which ones sort of made the album and which were to save for later? Um, we, we had a big fight. <laughs> and, uh, it, it was quite easy really because um, a certain amount of songs all had the same kind of yeah. style about them and then because we ended up with this kind of west coast thing with the harmonies coming through so we, we really kind of tried to pick all, all the ones that were coming in the same So it's the ones vein. that sort of really stood out? Yeah, we, we've still got uh, a lot of other ones we might yeah. put out uh, as we move on in style. Mm. You mentioned these, the sort of the West Coast harmonies there, what are your real influences in um, putting songs together? Well the songs were written, because there are four singers mm. um, and the harmonies kind of were a natural thing to happen so once that happened and we got that kind of old Fleetwood Mac, Eagles type vibe going on. We started to write in that that vein, but we're influenced by the Finn Brothers, you know, from Crowded House and everything from the Beatles, really, yeah. through to there's loads of stuff. Loads of stuff yeah, there. loads of things come through in the album, I think. You played a big gig at um, Buckingham Palace a, f a few years ago now, and um, went up and um, how was it to play at such a large gig? I guess scary, <laughs> good fun. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was just good fun, mm -hmm. to be honest. Uh, it was a free bar as well. Oh, that's that made it even <laughs> even more fun. Because that's quite a bit different from the um, sort of small acoustic gig you're doing tonight, so down at the port. I mean, how do they compare? Which do you prefer to do, the smaller, more personal gigs, or the bigger ones? Both, really. I mean, tonight it's because it was on such a great scale, and we only we only did two songs. I think it was that time. Um, it was what it was. You know, we just it kind of rocked. But with with tonight, we're going to show all our different sides and different nuances. And yeah, it's better doing your own gig, because it, you yeah. play for, you know, we're, we're doing two 45 minute sets, mm -hmm. so you get all the different styles. So you've got a lot of your songs into it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you do something like that, you have to do just your, your snappiest, mm -hmm. catchiest tunes. Because you supported Tom Jones, didn't you, for a bit? How, how was it to support someone that's such a, a legend, I suppose? Well, it's kind of a Welsh, uh, it's, it's like a, um, a rite of passage, if yeah. you're Welsh, you have to support <laughs> Tom Jones sometime in your life. He was great, and the gig was 25,000 or something, and it was a brilliant laugh. Excellent. It was good fun. I'm running out of things I can remember from my list now. <laughs> um, where else can we catch you around uh, over the next sort of few months? Where else are you playing? Or? We're playing in Bath. Um, we're, play we're, playing we're playing in Bath tonight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're playing in the Bristol. Yeah, the 100 Club in London on the 3rd of March. Where are we in Bristol? It, it's the the... Can we just cut that a minute and we'll, yeah, no we'll go back to that? From <laughs> 8 of 8. Ah, you right. should have said that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. We're playing at the 100 Club in London in March. On the 8th of April we're playing at the Prom in Bristol. Mm -hmm. so that's probably the, the nearest area around here. Excellent. And uh, I think you've got a website and um, various places we can find out to, about the band from? Yep, it's www.thestories.co.uk and the stories is s-t-o-r-y-s.co.uk okay. And uh, you've got a single out at the moment, which I think is uh, online download only? That was a, that was a, that was a while ago, the, mm. the single Cinnamon. Okay. But we've got another one coming out um, in a little while, uh, called Be By Your Side. And then so uh, Big and Tour. And again, that'll be on the, uh, the online download? Or? I no. think I'll be... That, that's uh, available in the buy. shops. It's it's on Brilliant. Okay, that's, uh, that's all I think of. I wrote yeah. a nice clever list and uh -huh. completely yeah. lost it, so anyway. <laughs> Unless you want to tell where the name came from. We, we stole it, we stole the yeah. list. <laughs> we stole the list and we stole the name yeah. from a band in America who was country duo. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, cheers guys.